So my name's Amelia Curie. I'm Youth Programme Lead at Involve, but I'm also a clinical psychotherapist and hypnotherapist. I use solution-focused brief therapy and hypnotherapy to help my clients. And we always talk about the brain and neuroscience when a client first comes to see me. Normally they're feeling anxious, angry or depressed, and there's a very scientific reason why you might be feeling that way. So when we have a look at our brain, at the very front, we've got our prefrontal cortex. And our prefrontal cortex, we don't share with other animals. It's the part of the brain that is quite rational, quite positive, and it knows why we do certain things. That's also attached to a nice resource library where all our memories have been stored and processed really nicely. However, we do have another part of our brain and it's called, sometimes referred to as our primitive brain. And the centre of this part of our brain is our amygdala. And our amygdala is sometimes called our fight, flight or freeze response. So if you walked out of your front door and you ran into a polar bear, your anxiety is going to go up and you're either going to fight, flight or freeze. You don't need to be thinking intellectually at this point. You don't need to be thinking, oh, has that polar bear eaten? You need to think, no, I need to get out of this situation for survival. And it's the same with anxiety, anger and depression. Our stress can go up and it doesn't always have to be a big event like a polar bear. It can be really gradual. So you've got bills to pay, you've got to get the kids to school on time, maybe you've had an argument with your boyfriend, whatever that is, it all goes in what we call a stress bucket. And what happens is, over time, we fill up our stress bucket. And when our bucket is full, we're more likely to be thinking from our fight, flight or freeze response, rather than our prefrontal cortex, where we're a lot more rational and we know that actually, maybe shouting at our husband or partner was maybe a little bit over the top. So what we want to do is try and empty our bucket. And we do that every night, ideally, through REM sleep. Unfortunately, REM sleep is only about 20% of our sleeping patterns. But in that sleep, that's the sleep where we dream. So if you've had an argument with someone during the day, you might go to bed feeling really angry and upset, and you wake up in the morning feeling a lot clearer about the situation. And what's happened is our bucket has emptied, and we've moved the memory from down in our primitive brain to up in our intellectual brain, but we have a lot more control over it. It's why we often say to sleep on it if we've had a problem. What happens often is that we're either overfilling our bucket or we're not emptying it properly when we are feeling anxious, angry or depressed. So the most important thing is to focus on sleep. And there are lots of resources out there to help with sleep. Another factor that can affect our mental health are neurotransmitters. So when we're feeling low or, or depressed, we don't really have many good neurotransmitters floating around our brain at all. And when we're feeling anxious or stressed, we've got an overload of adrenaline and cortisol that makes us feel anxious. But when we were primitive people, we would need to have good neurotransmitters to help us to be able to do the things we needed to do. We'd have to go out and hunt, we were stronger as a tribe than as individuals. So we'd have really good feel-good neurotransmitters that would be released in our brains when we did things that ensured our survival. So these are serotonin, dopamine and oxytocin. They're our main ones. And there are lots of groups that involve RUN that can help you to find your own tribe. At Involve, we use a solution-focused approach to help you find solutions to problems in your own life to help reduce what's in your bucket. It might be by stopping what's already going into your bucket. Our carer support team might help you if you're caring for a loved one and struggling. Or it might be that you need help to empty your bucket. Our social prescribing team will work on a needs basis to help you find what you need. Or you might work in, with my team with the children's service and I help young people to find a sense of belonging and meet other young people who are like them. All of these services help us to also increase our feel-good neurotransmitters in our brain. When we're around other people, we produce really nice neurochemicals like serotonin, dopamine and oxytocin. So whatever your age, circumstances or background, Involve Kent can help you to find your tribe. We offer a range of services, including Actively Involved for over 55s, 
our social prescribing service or our carer support service or we can also refer you on to a large network of other providers helping you to live a healthier, happier life.